Good morning, good morning, good morning. We'll do something a little different today. No eBay talk today. Today we are definitely with the real estate today. I uh, had a uh, home inspection with the city of Baltimore, and of course that didn't go well. Um, it's a little different trying to get into the programs, the city programs, than getting a regular tenant. The money's guaranteed, um, but sometimes the inspectors go a little bananas. Um, but it's for the safety of the tenants and just to make sure everything is well. We got a lot of bad landlords, um, you know, in the real estate world. So um, not just Baltimore anyway, it's not just about uh, Baltimore landlords. So anywhere it could be a bad landlord, but um, so they just doing their job. I'm not mad at them. So I have to go uh, meet my repair guy, um, just take care of a few things, go to home and pick up a few things and make the necessary repairs. Uh, sometimes I pass them the first time. Um, let me see. Probably 50% of the time I think I've passed the first time since I've been uh, dealing with the city inspectors. So, not a bad record. Oh, um, I guess it's a bad record. I don't know, good or bad, but whatever it takes, it normally takes me about a day, because it'd be small things. Um, a tub stopper's not in the toilet. I mean, in the, uh, a tub stopper's not in the tub. Um, the bedroom door doesn't lock. You know, stuff like that. It doesn't mean anything uh, typically that's too major. Um, one thing was major today that I missed was the, uh, it was the carbon monoxide, not on the first floor. So I, you have to have carbon monoxide detectors on each level. And I just had one on the basement level and the bedroom level. But I missed the uh, basement, the uh, second, the first floor level. But what confuses me is it depends on the inspector. Because if you have a carbon monoxide detector um, at the top of the steps of the second floor, it's considered for the first floor and the second floor because the carbon rises up to the second floor. So it just all depends on the the uh, the inspector. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put one on each on each floor. And some inspectors won't even like smoke detectors in every single room. Um, you know stuff like that. So it just all depends on what inspector you get. Some inspectors are, you know, pretty simple, easy to work with. Um, they might find a few small things wrong. They might pass you and tell you to and fix it. You know, but like I said, this all depends on the inspector. So I'm gonna take y'all on my journey. Like I said, I'm gonna go pick my uh, my repair guy up, pick him up. We're gonna go uh, run the Home Depot. Pick up the few little small things we need to get it done. I'm sure we'll have everything done by the end of the day today. And um, I'll put in for a re-inspection. Um, today's Thursday. I'll shoot for Monday. I'll see if I can get a re-inspection for Monday. So I'll take it from there and see how I go. So I'll uh, see you guys in a few shakes when I get to... Uh, So I made it over here to my repair guy. So I'm gonna go through the list of things that uh inspector found for the property. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the inspector Oh, whoa, Q. You did that? Oh, you all the way tripping, man. Ah, I see what he failed me for. Let's see about this back door. So, um, all right, so we find that some of the things the inspector was talking about. Uh, so wait a minute, what's this? A little bit worse than what I thought. That's that seal must have came up. Mama had to come over here to put that, um, to put this. Uh, a seal on there? Yeah, and I, I should have let you do it, right? Trying to be a little above my pay grade. Here, yeah, all this gotta be corked and tightened I up. Brought, I brought cork for that. He said, "Oh, we need a." Uh, you gotta, you gotta go, go get a stopper. Stopper for that. 
Um, but wait a minute, why the fuck we got all this daylight? This didn't have, this didn't have all this daylight on it. Because we ripped the thing off. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I put oh. this up the last time head. I was here. Oh, okay. And it stuck it. So I, whatever and I did, I... pulled it out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, because oh, daylight okay. was on. Yeah, you put you, you put it on the wrong side. Man, I was on the phone with you, man. You sent me the wrong direction, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know this ain't my expertise, man. So I guess it ain't a carbon right here in this top part. We need the one for the basement. Um, you said something about the rail. This all oh, the other side. So do you need it on both sides or just one? That's all I thought it was, but this is why I don't so he must be saying both sides. Yeah, so we're gonna have to fill this in. Okay. Not too bad. Um Alright, so just get a just get a um just get a pole come down and some two by fours or two by threes to fill it in. Fill those in? Yep. Uh, now, now I see what he's talking about about this. I don't know what high that happened. Oh, okay. But that can't be there. We need to get a cover for that. What the world happened there? I think I that up. Oh, come on, Q. You know we doing the city inspections, man. Nah, don't put that on me. I definitely ain't do nothing like that. I, I, I put this metal, the uh, electrical plate back here. Remember you had the wires hanging out back here. I had to put the electrical plate here. And I put the water joint on here that day. I don't know where you was at, man. Put the what on? The uh, extension hose, whatever this. Oh yeah, okay. I had to put that on there too. Um, so now I do see the stuff you're talking about. Um, but now we uh, let's do a walkthrough and see anything else he might find. Cause he ain't even finished inspecting. Cause he said he found too many things wrong. I ain't, I ain't never experienced that. Normally you only find like one or two things wrong. All right, so we just need- I'm picking up the mom. Um, all right, so. So we got a carbon up here. Dude, this middle room door kind of locked, but don't lock. I just got the Home Depot, <clears throat> picked up the supplies I need, get this house uh, fixed and let it out. So, go on here, grab the things I need, and um, get the house ready. Hope I can stay on these for 150 bucks. I'd be really happy if I can stay on 150 bucks. Might not make it, but I'm sure we're gonna try. A guy walked in here, but I don't know what hour go there, y'all. Smoke detectors. Which one do you want to get? The 10 year bedroom? Yeah, they $20 a detector. I 
I said I wanted to go overboard, didn't I? Even though I know I don't need it. Woo! It's only three bedrooms, though. I think I'm going over my $150 limit today. I think you're going to cut, cut across that. <laughs> Shit, these, I still got to get the carbon. We need that combo. Yeah, they're expensive. Let me just grab that one. Wait a minute, what's the difference? Should be a combo. One is both. What's the difference between what and what? One is $36, one is $42. Oh, oh this one's. Damn, kid, you getting old, man. You can't cut a piece of wood. I can start getting you some power tools. <laughs> this is six feet. Yeah, we keep that one. All right. So, little information that I just picked up, I ain't know nothing about. So. If you're up at Home Depot and you need wood and it's painted a different color, like orange, purple, or something like that, it's discounted. I didn't know that. I walk past this stuff all the time. My guy just told me that. So that's information you can have. I'm going to try to find out how much a discount. I don't know if it's by different stores or different locations. So I'll try to ask somebody um, how much is a discount. Let me see if I can find a wrap. Excuse me, sir. I had a quick question for you. Yeah. Some wood over there that's painted orange. You know what the discount is? Huh? The stuff in Millwork? Yeah. I don't think they sell those. Oh, you so might ask them. You might have to ask them, but the orange stuff, I don't think they, I think they go back to the vendor. Oh, they won't even sell it to you? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, we got purple. Well, I guess that part should be purple. Uh -huh. That's discount, but yeah. Do you know what the discount normally 70, is? 70. Is up to 70%? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. Thank you. All right. So if you heard that, so the orange one, they, they don't sell. And if it's purple, so if it's orange, just going back to the vendor. If it's purple, then it's 70% off. That's a major, major discount. So this is what the orange look like. Let me see if I can find the purple one. I bought something. I bought something off the purple cup. All right. So that's what the purple looks like. So the purple is discounted and the orange is going back to the manufacturer. So I'm trying to get out of here. Been in here for a long time now. It was 30 minutes in here, maybe a little bit more. So we're getting the last couple of pieces so we can get out of here. I'll let you know where we ended up crossing up the register. And then uh, we'll be out of here. Oh, they got those two cute. I had to move them out of the way, though. Oh, can I add my uh, military discount for you? The 
I put it in there wrong? That was the first thing you did. Okay. Thank you. You have a great day. All right. So I am way, way over budget. Like way over budget. So I have no idea how I spent $300 today. So. I'm gonna have to go back over this bill to understand how did I spend two ninety three seventy five? Something ain't right. Hey everybody! So that bill, as you saw, was two ninety three. Um, uh, that was double what I wanted to spend. I only wanted to spend $150, but the smoke detectors that I uh, picked up, they kind of really just took me like way over uh, my limit. That was almost $100 in smoke detectors that uh, kind of took me over my limit. Um, a few other little small things I wasn't really looking to get that kind of took me over. But, you know, it was all part of the business, nothing I could really do about it. Um, I did notice something on the receipt though. She had overcharged me. Um, 20 bucks for a smoke detector, extra smoke detector that I, I didn't uh, actually get. So I took took it back in the store. So that brought it down about 20 bucks. Which is, so that brought it down to 273 and not 293. So um, we're gonna head back to the house now, get the stuff dropped off. Also, if you heard me, I use my military discount. So if somebody was watching this, either in the military or you're a veteran or something, um, Home Depot gives you 10% off your uh, total purchase. Um, Lowe's does the same thing. Even when Lowe's, you gotta get registered and they put your phone number in and they give you 10% off. Home Depot, you just show them your uh, military ID, um, your veteran card, which mine is actually on my driver's license and they'll give you 10% off. Um, also though, if it's over $500, they have to call the supervisor because the discount's so big. So if it's under $500, the person at the cash register can go. If it's over $500, then they'll call the supervisor. They'll still give it to you, but you just gotta wait after a few minutes for you to call the uh, supervisor. So, um, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. Head on back to the house, drop the material you want, and um, decide what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. All right, wait. How much? They used to call me Crazy Joe. Now they call me Batman. All right, man, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So that's done. It is 12.30. Let me see. Pick my guy up at 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30. 33 hours out of my day. See how hard I work? Three whole hours it took me to go to the Home Depot, pick up some supplies, drop the supplies off. My guy gonna have everything done by the end of the day. And I'll be able to call my inspection in by Monday. Give me the weekend to come check things out, make sure everything was done correctly. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. What should I do with the rest of my day? My brother called. Mm, I don't wanna go eat lunch though. I'm trying to eat a little bit better. You know, I could go do some work. That would be the smart thing to do. I got some eBay stuff that need to get listed. A lot of eBay stuff that need to get listed. Go we'll trade some stocks. That's gonna take a while to find a more stock. I could take the day off and shit ride the Philly go with me and sub. That's what I should do. But my wife will kill me. She wants to go, but she can't go today. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I'm gonna ride across town though. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ride across town, go through the city. I head home or wherever my next stop I would be. So that was my adventure to Home Depot. That was my adventure to get my uh, repairs taken care of. Um, hope you enjoyed the adventure. Hopefully you learned some things. And um, it's 
not always easy being a landlord. Some things is easy, some things is hard, you know, but things are gonna happen in life. I'm learning that. You can't change them. There's nothing you can really do about them. Life is life. So every business is gonna have its uh, peaks and valleys. So the day was not a peak nor a valley. It was just a, it was a day that I had to take care of something. So um, it's taken care of, well, it will be by the end of the day. I did my part. I did the hard work. I paid for the stuff. So, um, nah, my God great do all the hard work, though, to get everything done uh, correctly. So uh, we can have another happy tenant. You know, I try to keep my tenants real happy and satisfied. You know, they call about maintenance issues and stuff like that. So the key is to get these things done before they move in. You get all this stuff cleared up, everything's working well before they move in. It helps limit the amount of maintenance calls you get. Um, so, you know, like I say, I'm not mad at the inspectors. I'm never mad at the inspectors when they come out and do their job. They're just doing their job. You know, and they're doing the safety for the, uh, for the tenants, you know. So, it helps everybody. It, it keeps me from getting making this call. Keep the tenants safe from having any issues and stuff like that. So, it's a win-win for everybody. So, like I say, if you ever think about getting into these city programs, there's so many of them, I'm not going to name them. Maybe I'll do another video talking about the different programs and stuff that's out there. Um, uh, but the ones, you know, some people, they don't, they don't have the patience for them. You do have to spend extra money sometimes to get stuff done. But they're the safety things that should be done anyway. So, um, you know, I may make another video talking about the different programs, stuff that's out there, you know, the process of getting in them and stuff like that. And, you know, you got to make a decision as a landlord. Sometimes it's worth it to go through the headache of getting them in. Because sometimes you might get a regular tenant that's going to drive you crazy not paying the rent. You know, so then you, you, you kind of stuck, you know, with that issue court and all that stuff, at least with the programs, you know, you'll get a nice amount of time where they'll pay, pay the rent for like several months, maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe some programs you pay the whole time until it in it. This all depends on the program that you're part of. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, any questions, comments, just, you know, leave it in the um, comment section. You know, I'll make time to reply. And um, I'll see y'all next video, man. I appreciate y'all taking the time. Pay attention to my stuff. You know, I'm always trying to just share the information that I know. So, the information I have, I like to share it. So, appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.